Solving nonlinear systems. This is our first example by way of substitution. There'll be three. They'll be connected by annotations and hopefully in the description. Here we go. This first one I want to do by way of substitution. <clears throat> and you're like, why? Because elimination's out the question. Because this y is singular and that one is of multiplicity too. So here we go. If this is equation one, then this is equation two. What I want to do is I want to solve two for y. I could also solve it for x, but what's next? I have y is equal to x plus one. Fun. Let me call that three and then I'm going to sub three into one. Oh boy. And then when I do, what do I get? Ah. Busted a cap on that. All right. So then I have an x squared plus, wait for it, wait for it. I heard x plus one is the new y. Yeah. And then that guy's squared and it's going to be equal to 41. Fun. And then I go on. Like a blister in the sun? Well, perhaps. But what I want to do is I want to expand that out binomially. That's an x squared. This one times that one, double it. Plus 2x plus 1. Fun. And then that's going to be equal to 41. Back that math up. Get it all on one side. So I have 2x squared plus 2x. And then minus 40 is equal to 0. And now I'm going to attempt a factor. But before that, I'm going to divide everything by 2. I divide u by 2, u by 2, u by 2. And when I do, I have an x squared plus an x minus 20 is equal to 0. Now I'm looking for the factors of 20 that subtract to be 1. Are there any? I bet there are. There's got to get that. Got to get that 5 and 4, x and x. The signs are different and they're both, oh, the big one is positive. That one's negative and it's still equal to 0. And then I'm going to take it to the top. Because what does that say? That says that my x is equal to 4 or minus 5. What am I going to do with that? I'm going to break it up into two cases. Just in cases, you can't see that. Yes, you can, man. I'm going to let x equal 4. And I'm going to plug it back up into the original. Which one? Probably 2. It's nicer. So then I have y minus 4 is equal to 1. Fun. So then y is equal to 5. So what does that mean? That means the point 4 comma 5 is in my solution set. What's next? I'm going to do the other one. Uh, here, I'm going to let x equal a minus 5. And when I do, I'm going to have a y minus a minus 5. That's going to be equal to 1. Fun. And then y is plus 6 is equal to 1. Five is equal to 1, and then y is equal to, wait for it, a minus 4 is it. So my point is a minus 5 minus 4. Sure. Now this makes sense if we were going to go and we were going to graph these two guys. This top one is a circle whose radius is the square root of 41, which is in between 6 and 7. This bottom one is a line. Whose line is it anyway? And y equals mx plus b, it's this line. So let's go and let's graph those two guys. That top one is a circle centered at the origin whose radius is in between six and seven. I know that's not a perfect circle, but this is a sketch. And now I'm gonna sketch that line. It starts at one. And then it goes up one over one, and then I connect the dots, la 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 la, connect the dots, ha <laughs> And if this wasn't a crude example, this would be four, five, and this one would be minus five, four. When I say this one, I mean the intersection between that line and that circle.
Now I've come perfect circle.